I've conducted a speed test on, and it's actually slower than my phone's, uh, you know, 4G, limited 4G cell connection, which I just had to top off recently for an extra five bucks, because I was, like, literally completely out of that, and it was just unbearably slow, but now I'm on Wi-Fi, but it's very, very slow, it's, like, barely, like, half of a megabit upload speed, so... I don't know if you guys, I don't know if this is choppy or not, I need some kind of confirmation, I got no, okay, I got one live viewer, how's the, how's the audio feed, am I, am I clean, am I, uh, you know, is it chopping in and out, or what, just wanted to make sure on that before I start jumping into all this, okay, well, like bike is saying it's working, seven viewers now, this isn't going to be a long stream, but I just kind of wanted to check in and, you know, just say that I'm in a motel now, and, yeah, because I haven't, still have not been able to find a permanent place to live yet, and, you know, kind of on that note, uh, somewhat, uh, I was asked this morning if I had seen Rod Seller's re most recent video, and I said I had not, I've been just too preoccupied with my own situation here. And then it was mentioned to me that Rod had actually said that this was going to be it for him. Like, like, he was ending his life kind of thing. I was like, oh, fuck, not again. So, got over his channel, and I see his last two videos. Uh, I watched both of those, and that, that, that first one there of the two was mentioning about how his car was stolen. And so I watched that, and I'm just like... Oh no, oh no, God, fuck. Like, I felt his pain, like, I, I, I haven't had a car stolen, but I could feel his pain, you know, just in his eyes, just as an expression, just everything, and I'll, he was just completely devastated, and I, I don't blame him, and I mean, like, I was reading through the comments, and somebody was saying, oh, don't, like, don't worry, like, don't, you know, it, like, just report to insurance, and they'll replace it, well, only if he had full coverage, I doubt he probably could afford that. So, uh, then I watched his other one, his most recent one, his last upload so far, and he really seems pretty serious. I mean, he even gave out his full name, so, like, he knows at that point, once he gives out his name, that, you know, people could call the police and all kinds of things to have him, you know, like, track him down and, you know, try to find him and take him against his will into a mental hospital and all this and that, so... Yeah, that's, that was probably the point of no return for him, I fear. Uh, you know, just... And yeah, I'm going through with it. I'm just going to go drown. And my name is Terrence Rodriguez, I think he said his name was. Uh, I'm like, oh my god, dude. Like, don't say all that. And then, oh, I mean, dude, oh my god. Like, he must be really fucking serious. Like, I just... Yeah, but... I feel his pain, I mean, you know, he's talking about how everything he's tried to do in life, it just doesn't work out, it's just one thing after another after another, and he was, he thought he could recover from losing his vending machine business and all this and that, and then he's trying to door dash, you know, trying to fill in the gaps, trying to pay the rent and all this and that, and then he gets his car stolen with all his, everything, his ID and his, his keys for his apartment and his storage and all that kind of stuff, see, I actually pay attention Unlike a lot of people that watch my videos, I actually pay attention to people, when, you know, when they say things in their videos. So, anyway, just want to throw that out there. Um, so, you know, I, I feel for him. That, that, that's, that's some fucked up shit. Like, he was trying, he already went through a lot as it is, and then he was trying to recover, and then now he loses his car, loses all, his only income, and people are telling him, like, oh, just buy another car, just do this, just do that. I mean, it look, by the looks of it, he was just barely surviving. He was trying to catch up on rent. He was, like, multiple months behind on rent. All this and that. So it's like, people think everything is so easy. I just don't get it. Like, I, I, I understand not having money and not being able to do things. And I'm, I find myself constantly, myself, having to tell people repeatedly, I, dude, I don't have money. I, I can't do that. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I mean, I have... Oh, here. here. Say hi, Missy Fu. Show everyone you're, you're doing okay. Oh, she's... Okay. Yeah, cats have a will of their own. There she is back there. 
She just doesn't want to be held right now, but she's just kind of chilling. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, so, you know, here I am. Got a motel room now, so at least I have money for that. But now it's just going to be extra hard because now I have to be... You know, I'm gonna be. Have to, I'm just gonna have to be busting my my ass driving every day, just to keep up with with, with the motel. Because I mean, I got into to, to a chat with someone earlier. Uh, he was smoking a cigarette, and I was smoking a. <laughs> he called it the buds, and he was. We're just chatting it up, and he was talking about how that there, there there's employees that work here. It's a couple, and they also live here. And he was talking about how it's fucked up that they don't give them a discount and stuff. And it's like it, it, it like literally he he was saying it's like paying a mortgage. You know, to live here month to month. And, you know, and he was just saying how fucked up it was. And I'm like, yeah, I, I totally agree. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, a lot of people struggling, you know, all this and that. So, you know, and, and, and when I actually, when, when I pulled up to this motel, there, there was another uh, vehicle, like an SUV, uh, a little bigger than, than the car that, that I've got, the rental car, and uh, it was just packed with stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I get it, and I understand someone else is going through the same shit, and I seen a, a, a cat in the window of, you know, a, one of these other, other rooms around here, and I saw someone walking their dog, so, you know, and it doesn't look like these people are on vacation, <laughs> looks like they're going through some shit, so I'm definitely not the only one. You know, that, that could be a whole video in and of itself. You know, just talking about everyone going through shit. You know, that and the previous night slash morning because I made the reservation for this motel and but but I couldn't check in until three PM so I had to sleep in my car again and just right over next to me, it was a grocery store parking lot, there was somebody living in their van. You know, it, the, all the telltale signs were there, you know. It was all like dirty and like cluttered looking, and like the windows were all covered up. Had like, like you know the 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 whatever it's called like the the thing you know the sun visor you put on the windshield and everything. I did the same thing, so you know I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people out there struggling. It that they call it like the hidden homeless. There's a, there's a lot of videos out there already on the subject, so uh, go look that up. Is my cat still there? She's just yeah. She, she just didn't want to be held, but, you know, she's like that sometimes. Anyways, guys, uh, I got to get going. I got shit to do, and I, I really, I got to go clean out the car and all this and that, and I got to get my ass to work. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> stupid ass trolls mostly like to criticize me. Oh, just get a job. You're, you're lazy fuck. You don't want to work. <laughs> I, dude, I, like, <laughs> I... I Excluding the point that I was sleeping in the car, I had been working, I had been making money. I wouldn't be in this motel room right now if I hadn't been making money. You know, I'd still be sleeping in the car, just totally destitute with, like, nothing. So, you know, just want to throw that out there as well. And, you know, about Rod Seller, uh, you know, I, I, I really fear that that was the end for him. You know, he really seemed very serious about that. You know, you could see it in his eyes and everything. You know, people criticize, you know, his choice to do that and stuff. But, I mean, look, I didn't want the guy to go either. And I, I even mentioned in one of the comments, you know, I, I wish somebody would have reached out to him, you know, and, and not try to counsel him because what the fuck is that going to do for him? I mean, if he... If he doesn't have anything, no car, no in income, no nothing, you know, he's going to lose everything, get evicted. I mean, what's counseling going to do to help him? I mean, I, what I mean is I wish somebody would have reached out to him and be like, hey, you know, I got an extra car, you know, or something like this, or, 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 or you know, like, like I really understand your struggle, or like, or let's pitch in and, and like get you a couple grand, two, three grand, get another, you know, cheap little Corolla or something so you get back on your feet, something, anything. Or, yeah, uh, you know, come stay with me, you know, let, like, you know, I won't let you go homeless, you know, c you know, come over and, you know, I got an extra room, something, anything, something like that, you know, real help, actual real help for actual problems, actual, you know, actual solutions for actual problems is what I should say. So, you know, not the stupid counseling bullshit or, or a mental ward. I mean, what the fuck is that going to do? That's just going to st stress them out even more. 
So, I mean, I get it. I get it. I totally understand the struggle and all that shit. So, with all that being said and done, um, I guess I'm just going to leave it at that, you know. You know, if you, if you really did go through with it, it's really sad. But, I mean, I, I understand his pain. I sympathize. And, you know, I'm on a low point myself. I mean... He's talking about getting evicted and losing everything. I mean, look at me. I've been sleeping in a car. Now I'm in a motel room. Still haven't found a permanent place to live. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so. Let's check in with some of the comments that I haven't been able to see. What's up, the Swedes? Tony Smith saying, I've been watching Brian for over 10 years, way back on the Fox TV network with the restaurant show, then hanging out with G4T and the Inland Empire, Pomona stories. Oscar Salgado, what's up? Back to you. Uh, it's not going well. Sean American Patriot saying, hi, Brian, and chat. You, are, are you saying cat? Jose Godi saying, I'll donate 20. Oscar Salgado saying, have you talked to Walking Journey? I don't talk to the dude. I mean... Like, I, like I, I know it looks like, you know, because he constantly puts out all these videos about me, you would think that, like, we're in constant contact with each other and, like, we know each other in person or something, but we've never even met, and, and, you know, he lives all the way in Texas, and I mean, like, I've, I've never met the dude, like, I hardly ever even talked to him or about him or anything, but he's just really obsessed with me. So, anyway, Gary H. saying, do you still have your two storage units with your mother's things? Uh, I actually have three storage units now. <laughs> because I've, my life has been such a train wreck and moving around place to place. Haven't been stable and all this and that, so it's been a nightmare. Move it or lose it, too, saying, Rod Seller just made a video saying he's killing himself today. And it's his last video. Yes, I already addressed that. Ian Baker, the car guy. What? Sean American Patriot saying hi to Ian. Oscar Salgado asking a very interesting but very relevant question. How much are you paying for a motel? Okay, so this was this was the cheapest I was able to get a motel for. Total four hundred and forty five dollars for seven days. I, I'm getting a discount. It would, everywhere else I was calling it was like, it was like five thirty nine or some shit for seven days. I'm like God. So, you know, but but for that four four forty five or yeah, it was four forty five, I think. I have to look back at the receipt. No, I, yeah, it was four forty five. I was hoping I was trying to get it for you know because I I, I heard stories of like somebody like uh, getting a room for like a week for like about three hundred and twenty, and in fact I was actually originally quoted about three hundred twenty five when I called one of these motels, but then for some reason I wasn't able to get that again, and then I tried calling the front desk uh, like the, the the previous morning, you know, before I could even check in. I was trying to call that one back, and I, I was calling and calling. It was just ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and then disconnecting me. Call back, ring, 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 disconnect, ring, 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 disconnect over and over and over and over and over again. I was like, oh my god, I just want a place to live already. I, I can't do this car shit anymore. So... Yeah, my life is really fun. My life is just awesome. So not only that, but I'm also paying the 200 a week for the rental car. And I still got to come up with some money for car parts, you know, radiator and and uh, water pump. And then I got to come up with the time because I got to be working my ass off just to, just, just to tread water, just to, to keep from drowning financially with this whole situation. And... <laughs> God, this is such a nightmare. You know, I, I I totally understand, you know, if Ron went through with it. This is such bullshit. And he was going through a lot of bullshit himself. I, I totally get it. I totally understand. Sean American Patriot saying, Do you have a GoFundMe? We need you we need to get you a class seat. Dude, I've been I've been trying to get an R V since like twenty thirteen. We're in twenty twenty one now. I've been trying to fundraise on and off all this time pretty much, except when I was working and I only managed to get maybe a few hundred dollars all, all together, so, I mean, it's going to, on the low end, it's going to take, you know, at least, like, two, three, four grand, at least, that's why I was trying to fundraise for six grand, so I could get a, an RV for about four and a half, five grand, 
and then I'd be able to, to register and insure and all that stuff and get going right away. But I just, you know, everyone just wanted to call me a scammer and be like, ah, just work, you lazy piece of shit. You don't want to work. Get the RV yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Brian Fritz, Network 126, B for T, scammer, trying to scam everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Stupid bullshit. So I'm just so tired of the world. So I sympathize so much with Rod Seller. Put your PayPal in the description box saying Sean American Patriot. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. Or, you know, I'll just say right now, just type in PayPal, PayPal, P-A-Y-P-A-L, dot, period, M-E, forward slash, and then B-R-I-A-N-F-R-I-T-Z, Brian Fritz, hit enter, or hit the little, you know, right arrow, and it'll take you right there. And if you don't have a PayPal account already, uh, there is a, 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 a thing you can click in there somewhere, it, like ask for a credit card information. I mean, it's a totally legit PayPal site, so don't even worry about that. I mean, if you want to investigate, check out the link yourself and all this and that. You know, make sure it's a legit PayPal link. I mean, it is, so just throwing that out there. So, I mean, yeah, so move it or lose it too, saying watch Rod Seller's new video. He said he's killing himself, he's killing himself today. Someone needs to call someone. Anyone know where he lives? I don't know where he lives, but I mean, he just put out his name. We know his name. That's about it. Um, but I, 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 I don't think he needs like the kind of help that some people are, you know, implying. I think he needs like actual like financial help, a place to stay, a car, something. He needs real solutions for real problems. Von Brumen saying, "Did you contact Rod Seller? Did he do it? I, I have no idea. I, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, as much in the know as all the rest of you guys." I mean, I, I don't, like, have his personal phone number. I don't, you know, we're, we're not, you know, I never even met the guy. Ian Baker, the car guy, saying, I see it. I see the video. Move it or lose it, too, saying, uh, he said he's jumping in the river and killing himself today. Yeah, I know, I, I heard. And that's That was just so depressing. I mean, I don't want him that, I really, you know, I don't want that for him. I really don't. But, I, again, I understand Albert Costanza saying, yo, Brian, hope you reach out. Rod Seller, he's in a jam. Dude, I can't do anything. I'm in a jam myself. Look at me. I've been living in my car. You know, he's talking about, oh, thanks for, I, I just, see, I got a super chat, $4.15. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going through shit myself. I was living in a car for fuck's sake and not even my car. And, and now I'm in a motel that I'm like, I'm going to be having to work my ass off just to tread water. I'm just going to be barely, barely, maybe putting away a little bit here and there. Just barely. It's going to, God, this is just such a nightmare. You know, a lot of people say, you know, that, that I'm weak and all this and that. You know, that, that you know, that, that, that you know, you're just a weak piece of shit and you're not tough enough for life and all this and that. I'm like, come on, look, like, look at Rod Seller. Like, he still has, his, you know... As far as like we saw him last, he still had his apartment at least, even though he was months behind on rent, about to get evicted, but at least he still was in it. I mean, I've been sleeping in my car, and I mean, like, he's already, he's already, he's literally saying that, like, this is it, he's killing himself, and I'm like, I'm in a motel, I'm still pushing, I'm not, I'm not, that's not to talk any shit on him, I mean, everybody's got their limit. I'm not, you know, I'm not talking down on, on, on him at all, at all, so... Albert Costanza saying, yo, Brian, hope, you know, I already read that one, uh, Sean, I, I noticed another one, I'm trying to catch up, I, I'm now up to 20, 24, 14, super chat, I'm trying to catch up, thank you so, 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 so much for that, by the way, Sean American Patriot saying, you deserve help, we are, we are all donating, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, from the bottom of my broken, <laughs> lonely heart, thank you so much, you restore a little bit of faith in my, you know, in, in humanity for me, in, but, uh, Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, I was not expecting that. I, I was not expecting that. I saw part of it. Uh, Albert Costanza saying, strange how you and Rod Seller are both in a climax of, ba of bad things. Kind of supports the idea of Murphy's Law with what's happening with you and Rod. Yeah, I, I've i noticed that too myself. He was talking about, you know, it was just an avalanche of things, one thing after another, after another, after another, and it's like, I totally get it. I'm going through the same shit myself. We're, we're the same age, going through very similar bullshit. He's talking about getting screwed by women his whole life. Um, 
you know, I've been through some shit myself. I'm, I don't want to get too much into that right now. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I've been robbed before by a woman. Um, involved with other women that were not exactly probably healthy for me, admittedly. But, hey, I, I was lonely and, you know, my mom had just died and uh, that was a whole other thing. It's just, it's been just, you know... Oh, I'm up to 32.44. I got to catch up with... Thank you, whoever that was who just uh, bumped me up higher. Okay. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying suicide is never a good option. Well, I regretfully have to disagree with that. I mean, it's his choice whether he wants to continue suffering or not. I mean, we can't force him to stay here. Albert Costanza saying, I missed the beginning, but I'm guessing the landlords are taking their sweet time to get back to you, or they are too picky. Yeah, pretty much. Every The world just fucking sucks. I'm, I'm tired of everything myself. S. Gold Digger, hi, hi back to you. Oscar Salgado, how's your case going about the dad and son? I, I uh, God, don't even remind me about that shit. I'm trying to forget about that. Uh, it just never ends. It's like I said, it's just one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Ian Barker, a car guy, saying, is there any way to find out about Rod Seller? I, 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 I have a really bad feeling we're probably going to find, uh, someone's going to post a, a link to a news article pretty soon here coming up, saying that there was, you know, there's a body found in the river, identified as Terrence Rodriguez, the YouTuber from whatever he was from. Yeah. Albert Costanza saying, Anthony has had an easy life. He married young to some submissive woman. In a way, he makes me hate him because guys like him never know what it's like to have struggles in life. You know, I, I, I totally agree. I mean, I, I, know, I know I argue a lot with you, Albert Costanza, but sometimes he posts things that I actually agree with. That's interesting. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, uh, do you know how long you'll live in the motel? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. Oscar Salgado saying, what happened? Uh, where are you staying before the motel? I was staying in the car before the motel. <laughs> Did you watch those live streams? Mike Martin saying, shout outs, LOL, spell check. Gary H saying, uh, I hope things get better for you, Brian. Hang in there. Thanks, Gary H. Don't forget about Missy Fu, my cat. Okay, I guess I lost the connection again. I guess it's going to be a recurring theme stream. It's just going to keep losing connection now because I'm not in hardwired into an Ethernet connection to my laptop anymore. <sighs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I, can, can you guys hear me now? Let me... Uh, okay, let, let me jump down to the comments up, down below. Uh, can you guys hear me? Am, am I... like what, what was the last thing you guys heard? Because it said I lost my connection. It just said reconnecting again about a minute ago, so. Can you guys hear me? I'm just going to assume you guys can hear me. I'm going to jump back into the comments because i got to send my shout-outs, my thank yous to, uh, to my donations that you people have generously, generously, generously given to me. Um, big shout-out. Thanks to my subscribers out there, my, my true loving supporters. Much love right back at you. Okay, um, so Ron Rasp saying, hi Brian, great to see you found a place, I hope it's nice, yeah, but it's, it's very expensive, Chuggalug Doug saying, poor guy, Mike Martins gave me five bucks, thank you Mike Martins, JM gave me 20 bucks, well, 1999, I'm just going to round it up to 20, Mike Martins gave me another $10, yes, here you go, Brian, God bless you, thank you so much, thank you so much, so much, so much. Greg Somebody saying, greetings, glad to see you out of the car, motel is a better option. Yeah, really. Well, I mean, it's not a cheap option, but it's it's better than living in a damn car. At least I got to take a shower. Ron Rasp saying, look at those donations, time to buy new furniture for your new place. Uh, I need to get a place, I don't even have a place yet. Oscar Salgado saying, I mean, before the car, I was living with a friend, it just didn't work out. I'll, 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 like all I'm gonna say about that is just COVID ruined everything. It truly did. COVID ruined everything. We we wouldn't all be in this situation if it weren't for COVID. 
Von Bruman saying, why are you paying for a motel when you had a place at a friend's house? Like I said, it didn't work out, and COVID ruined everything. Mike Martins <laughs> asking why so many dislikes. Because I got all these stupid obsessive trolls with like 20 fucking troll accounts, or more, and they just love to thumbs down me because they just, they're just they that obsessively hateful of me. Don, Don Tangent saying, oh, shut up, no, no, no. It's another stupid ass that needs to stop e begging. <laughs> Greg, somebody saying the trolls can go to hell. Thank you so much. I could not, you know, say that enough. Then that's not, uh, you know, can't be said enough. You know what I'm trying to say. Strump Vlieg saying, "Yep, you're back again." Okay, good. Yeah, that was from earlier when I was asking if you guys could hear me. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying hi, Greg. Mike Martin's walking journey lost money on Dodge Coin. <laughs> oh, you should invest. Invest, man. God bless. <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out for you, Walking Anthony? Oscar Salgado saying, are you going to get the vaccination? No, I am not. And that was actually part of the tension that kind of ruined my last living situation. Which I don't want to really get into on here. This, I want to just let that go. Greg, somebody saying, call it the Wu flu. It's messed up. Yeah, pretty much. You know, Trump was calling it the China virus or whatever. Ryan K saying... Uh, Mike, how much did he lose? <laughs> Mike Martin saying like 10 large. Oh shit, you talk about 10 grand? He really lost 10 grand? Shit. High Life saying thoughts on Rod Seller's suicide. Yeah. I really think that was the end for him. I just, I, I think he reached a point of no return and it's just really sad, but I, I get it. I sympathize. Gary each saying what's going on with Dodgecoin. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that myself, but maybe somebody else watching does and wants to chime in. Greg, somebody's saying, hell no to the vaccine, hard pass. <laughs> yeah, you and I agree. You know, I just talked to you know, the, the, this one friend of mine, uh, well, my, my friend's dad, well, I mean, they're both friends of mine, but anyway, you know, I, I was trying to, the, the, I mentioned him in a previous stream, he was trying to help me find a place, and I was trying to, like, rent his garage and stuff, but he couldn't help me, but he was trying to, like, make calls for me and this and that. And, you know, he was asking me just, you know, kind of straight up, like, why it didn't work out. And I'm like, well, you know, part of it, like, you know, I wasn't, I didn't want to take the vaccine. And he looked at me and he's like, oh, I don't want to take that shit either. Hell no. <laughs> so I wasn't the only one there. Um, Ryan K saying, I doubt that. Oscar Salgado saying, you hate the government, but you gladly accept the stimulus check. You know, I, I, I keep saying it again and again and again, dude, like, Dude, you need money to survive. Without money, you fucking starve and go homeless. Like, unfortunately, I am trapped in this stupid system that I don't like, and it requires money. So if they're going to give me money to, to survive, I'm, I mean, what choice do I have? It'd be stupid not to take it. I mean, I'd much rather just do things on my own, break away from this stupid system, but... <laughs> they pretty much make that near impossible. So... It's, just, that, it's such a stupid criticism to make. You know? Why do you take the stimulus money? You hate the government. Well, because the fucking government gives us no choice but to... We need the money. Fuck. God, he's stupid or what? Anyway. <laughs> I'm just going off. I, I don't even... I think you're another one that I sometimes agree with, but I don't. I don't know. I'm just going off. I'm so. I'm so stressed out. If anybody says anything, I just go off now. I'm just. I don't have the patience anymore. I'm just. You know, Project Blue saying. Uh, so you're spending money out on a rental car and the motel room? Yes, I sure am. Criticize me all you want. I don't give a fuck. But, you know, that's just the situation I landed in, and I'm trying to make the best of it. <laughs> you know, Greg. Somebody making a great point. People just don't get it. Thank you. <laughs> They really don't. They really don't. Huh, Missy? People don't get it, don't they? Poor cat. Well, at least she gets to chill on a bed now instead of, you know, sleeping under the seat of a car. Poor cat. She's doing a lot better now. Happier. I just fed her a little while ago. She ate. Anyway, guys, 
I gotta get going. I, like I said earlier, I got shit to do, so... <laughs> Project Blue was like, geez, I just asked a question. Oscar Salgado was saying, try the McDonald's app, it helps a lot. Well, okay, I, I agree with you there. I mean, I, 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 I downloaded it, I have checked it out. The Burger King app also helps a lot, too. You can get a, a, a double Whopper for $3, and their 10-piece chicken nuggets are only $1.49. I mean, you can't beat that. Gary H. saying, is your Ford still on the curb? What's going on with the app? It's, it's like, how many miles away from here? I don't know. It's it's probably still like ten miles from my current location, about more or less. Well, maybe a little less than ten. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's a few miles away. It's not that far. But uh, yeah, I I need to go do something with that because it's just sitting on a residential street, you know, in a, in a neighborhood. <laughs> it's just all. My life is just such a massive train wreck that just spans for like miles and miles and miles. I got stuff all over the place within probably, you know, like a 30, 40 mile radius of where I'm at. Things in just multiple places scattered throughout and even in different counties. <laughs> That's how massive my life train wreck is. High Life is asking, how many nights did you crash in your ride? Uh, I was like, probably slept in there like four or five times at least. Ron Rasp saying, do a tour of your new place. Greg, somebody saying, watch out for the crazies on the road, buddy. It's like Mad Max out there. Oh, God, don't even get me. This one friend of mine, I barely even, I don't know. He just, he really ruined my trust. I don't even get, in, get into all that right now. He was a fucking maniac on the road. I am never getting into a car with him ever, 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 ever again. He pissed me off. I don't even want to talk to him anymore. Ron Rasp saying, throwing, throw a housewarming party. What <laughs> housewarming party? Dude, I'm going to be having to bust my ass just to tread water. Oscar Salgado saying, very true, $1 Whopper Wednesdays. Yes, that, that, that is true. They, they do uh, Whopper Wednesdays, and you can get a Whopper for $1 on Wednesdays through the app. Yes, you can. Very good point. Mike Martin saying, Rod Seller seems pretty down. His car got stolen. Yeah, I, I like I said earlier, I watched those last two videos he put out, and you know that the first one of the two he's talking about his car being stolen. I'm just like, oh no, oh no, I don't like how this is. Yeah, I, I could already see it. You know, the, the look on his face and everything, and the tone of his voice, look in his eyes, just everything. And I was like, yeah, he's you know, and and plus because I, I already you know I, I I somebody told me you know that he the next video is him ending his life. And I saw that before I clicked on the car video or something, and oh god, like, yeah, I could see, yeah, how this is going that way. So, yeah. Oscar Salgado saying, also Del Taco app helps too. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I mean, I'm not really big on Del Taco, but I mean, yeah, I'm sure, all those apps pretty much, you know, that they try to incentivize you to order online for some reason, so, I mean, it makes no difference to me. I mean, I could just, I mean, whatever, I mean. They care that much about how I, how I make my order, and I can save that much more, you know, my order. Then all right. Mike, Mc, uh, no, Brian McKenzie saying Brian, whatever happened to the girlfriend? Uh, which, dude, I haven't had a girlfriend in a long time, like an actual serious girlfriend. High life, saying, uh, hope you had a nice stash of meds if you catch my drift. Yeah, I mean, I get criticized a lot for that, including from Rod Seller himself. But, I mean, it really does help a lot. And criticize me all you want, but, I mean, it's probably the reason I'm still alive, and Rod Seller is probably dead, unfortunately. I mean, it's not, dude, but it's, it's not the devil's lettuce. It, it'll help you with your stress, dude. If you're still alive, try some weed, dude. Like, you're already wanting to kill yourself. You, well, I mean, <laughs> what have you got to lose, dude? Just try to smoke a bowl. For the first time in your life, or I mean, no, no, I think you said you tried it already. It wasn't for you or something, but I don't know. It's not for everybody, but I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just trying to help. I'm just saying what works for me. Jarrett Neely saying, if you don't have a job in a capitalist society, you're seen as worthless. Yeah, sad but true. Peter One saying, you you get my PayPal few day, few days back. I left my number. You did? 
Uh, I, I, I got one for like 10 bucks or something. Was that you? Uh, Greg, somebody saying, did your friend road rage on someone or something? Yeah, he, yeah, something like that. I was yelling at him to, to calm down and, the, you know, but he, he just, yeah, he got all pissed off at me. Yeah, and I was, I, we're trying to, we're trying to get a room, I mean, well, not a room, he was trying to rent a house, because he was just tired of all the bullshit, and he's been sleeping in his van, and he, he seemed really serious, and he had been doing DoorDash, he had just gotten this, uh, this car, a, a used Toyota Camry, I think it was, something like that, um, I'm not saying, if he's watching this, I'm not ratting you out, dude, shut up, no one even knows, I'm not even saying what color or anything, and I'm not even going into detail, I'm just saying, if, yeah, I'm not even talking to you anymore, <sighs> fuck, I can't believe people, I've been, god, fuck, <laughs> you guys have no idea what I've been through, guys, you have no fucking idea, you don't even, god, you guys... You guys only have, know the tip of the iceberg. Just the tip of the iceberg. Oscar Salgado saying, Did you know when it's your birthday you get a free Grand Slam at Denny's? Huh. I didn't know about that one, but I've been doing the Red Robin one. You get a, a you know, a pretty much any free burger of your choice except like the premium ones or something. I forget. But I remember last time I got a pretty big like double cheeseburger thing. I forget what they called it. And it was free. Like, they literally only charged me for my drink or something, I think, or to refill for the drink. Something like that. And that was it. I spent, like, I think, like, $6 total, and it would have been, like, like at least, like, a $10, $15, $20 meal or something like that. You know? So, I do take advantage of that one. <laughs> I'll have to keep the, the Denny's one in mind, though, next time. Uh... Ryan K. took, took care of another troll saying, bam, just like that. My surfing saying weed is okay, but I can take it or leave it. Well, and like I said, it's not for everybody, you know. It's it's a different thing for everybody too. Ray Ray saying, "Hey, buddy, are we surviving today?" Yeah, just barely, just barely. I mean, I'm still here. Unfortunately, Rod's probably not. He couldn't take it anymore. But I'm still here. Oh, Peter one saying, "Yeah, it was nine dollars." Check the message on it. Oh, okay. I'll I'll, I'll check that out. Because, I, yeah, I did see that, that, that somebody did leave a, a, a donation there for about, like, like nine, nine something or ten. or I mean, I, it, it looked like to me it was like a $10 donation with, with PayPal's cut taken out, like a few cents or something. But, yeah, anyway, or maybe I had a few cents or something in there. Maybe that's what threw me off. I don't know. Ray Ray is asking for the cat already. Well, I, oh, the cat's still here. Actually, let me, I'll just disconnect from the charger real quick so I can get closer. Hey. Hey, kitty. Say hi. She's like, <laughs> she's like, don't bother me, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me enjoy my bed. Jarrett Neely saying, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, what, you're talking about smoking a bowl or... <laughs> High Life, yeah, talking about smoking bowls, High Life with the weed icon, saying, are you Latino? I didn't know you spoke Spanish until your argument video. Uh, interesting thing about that, I mean, I yeah, I do have Latin blood. I mean, my, my mom was from Guadalajara, but my dad, uh, that other side of the family is white, like, as white as white can be, so, and I'm not completely fluent in Spanish, yes, I, I have been heard speaking in Spanish before, but I'm not completely fluent in it. And I often get stuck and stumble on my words or, or say the wrong words or, you know, using words incorrectly or just trying to fill in, you know, Spanglish, you know, try to throw in an English word here and there when, when I don't know how to say it in Spanish. So, yeah, I'm not very uh, well-versed in the Spanish language as I'd like to be or need to be, but, yeah. Greg, somebody saying life can be unfair sometimes. Some folks have, have it on a silver platter and some people can't catch a break. Real talk. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, that, you know, exactly, that's exactly the case, let me adjust this thing real quick so I can move around a little more, um, yeah, yeah, ex exactly, Greg, you, you, you get it, you, you totally get it, Gary H. saying, if you take the BK survey on the receipt, you get a free Whopper, oh yeah, I think I did notice that, 
I think you have to buy a drink though or something. But yeah, uh, Sean American Patriot saying you can do it, Brian. Well, I I hope so. I mean, it would help if I had some help. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be chugging along. You know, busting my ass just to, to stay afloat here, just to tread water, just to keep from drowning financially and losing everything, like Rod Seller. <sighs> Ray Ray saying, Rod said at least he won't have to be black anymore. Poor guy. Oh, you know, I felt, that's just, that's just sad. That's sad. That's so sad. Poor guy. Sean American Patriot saying, black never cracks. <laughs> well, apparently Rod Seller did. Al Cortez 173 saying, hi Brian, how much is a car repair? Is a radiator the only issue it has? No, it's the water pump as well, and I gotta like get under there with the jack and take the engine mount off, lift the engine about a couple inches up to be able to, to take the water pump out, put the water pump in, then I gotta replace the whole radiator. It's it's a job, guys. I mean, I can do it. I, if, I mean, I'm not a mechanic, but I can do it. It'll save me a lot of money, but even so, radiator is still gonna cost me about maybe 100, 150 bucks. Water pump, maybe another 50 bucks, so we're, we're looking at about a total of about 200 bucks just in the parts alone you know and that's with zero labor cost because I'd be doing it myself well it might be a little more expensive if, if I had to buy a, a, a jack at a Harbor Freight or something or maybe my friend I think my one of my friends might have one or my friend's dad something yeah so I'll try to go that route if not I'll just buy one for myself or see if I can do that that free tool loaner thing from AutoZone I don't know if they have jacks or not, but maybe if they do, I'll get one of those. You know, then use it, then take it back, get my money back. Uh, Ryan K saying, "Don't you ever come back?" Woo! Oh, talking, talking, he's talking to the troll that he just blocked because they do love to make multiple accounts. You know, you block them, they just come back with another account. So, High Life is saying, "Are you aware of the White Knight?" Uh, what are you talking about? White Knight, what? Greg, somebody saying Ryan K talking out, taking out Z trolls. Nice, lol. <laughs> yeah, uh, Greg, somebody and Ryan K are my two troll mods. Well, two of them. Jarrett Neely saying, "Do you have any siblings or friends to help you out?" I have zero siblings, and I'm burning. I, I mean, I hate to say it. I'm just being honest, but this year, for some reason or another, I've been burning through friends left and right. I've lost a lot of people this year. It's really, it's really taking a toll on me. And COVID caused a lot of problems. It really did. Pepsi, that's an interesting screen name, saying, Get ready, Brian, now that Rod has been defeated, White Knight is coming for you. Well, what are you talking about? Who, 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 or, who or what is White Knight? I don't understand. Sean American Patriot saying, I love fixing things. It's fun. Now that, 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 that white knight thing is kind of sticking for... I mean, what, 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 what do you mean by that? Now that Rod has been defeated. What do you mean? Is this like some kind of like a spiritual thing? Like demons or something? Like, what do you... Anyway, Al Cortez 173 saying, how, how often do you have to move the car on the street? Luckily, there's no street sweeping, but I try to go there at least every few days and move it so nobody, like, you know, like, wants to call the city or something. And yeah, I really need to go do something with that car. <sighs> Fuck. Jarrett Neely saying, what's your income right now? Well, as soon as I get back to Ubering, I mean, I, I well, <sighs> you know, busting my ass, I can make, like, six, seven hundred bucks if I'm really busting my ass, you know, and hitting all the bonuses, but... That's not counting my cost for gas, and then I still have to pay for the for the rental car. Then I still have to pay the four forty five a month for the motel. My life is a fucking nightmare, guys. Real talk, it really is. Like, you know, this is probably <laughs> the this and this are probably just about the only reasons I'm still alive and not killing myself right now, like Rod Seller. No, Sean American Patriot saying get a two-person tent from Walmart, sleep in the... No, I'm not sleeping in a tent. 
and I got a, a cat and a bunch of stuff, and I'm not going to be able to function in a tent. I can't keep leaving my stuff behind in the woods and going out and Ubering and shit like that. No, I'm not going to, no, that's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to function. I've been telling you all hundreds of times, but everyone's like, get a tent, get a tent, get a tent, get a tent, get a tent. What's wrong with the tent? Sleep in a tent, get a tent. I'm not sleeping in a fucking tent. I'm not going to be able to function like that. Fuck. God, people don't listen. IRC Bully, IRC Bully is here. IRC Bully is my other troll mod, by the way. Sky Warrior 100 saying same here. Also, I have a lot of friends as well. Well, good for you. You're talking about, you know, I'm assuming you lost friends as well, but you still have a lot of friends left. You're saying, I assume that's what you're saying there. IRC Bully uh, has both of his shots saying, <laughs> is it just interesting how he words it? Because he talks like in the, in, in the, like third person, the IRC bully has both his shots. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> it's loud in here. Uh, Greg, somebody saying, I've gotten rid of a few toxic friends. Got to cut out toxic folks. <laughs> yeah, well. I just, I lost so many people. Like, people I've known for a long time. It's just so. I don't even know what to make of it at this point. The IRC bully saying how much to fix the car, like I said, about a couple hundred bucks just in parts. And that's, you know, considering zero labor, me doing it myself. Okay. Oh, Aokai Collins saying the White Knight already said that once he defeated Rod Seller, B for T was next. Okay, first of all, my name is not B for T. And I'm saying is all I'm saying is get ready because he's relentless. What do you, who or what is this white knight? What are you talking about? What the fuck? Uh, hold on. Wait, are you, you know I'm live, right? You got, probably, you guys can hear my phone buzzing. Hold on, wait, are you trying to be live right now? You know I'm I'm broadcasting live still. Hold on. Ah, I'm trying to see what your message was. Hold on, dude. I don't know if you're ready to be live or not. That's why, like, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What was your message? Wait, I was... Did I lose, uh... Where was I? Was I off? I, I was trying to go reply to a text message. Anyway... Uh, because yeah, my phone, I was getting a phone call, but then I wasn't sure if he knew that I, uh, anyway, um, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm not used to doing this on the phone, guys, I normally do my live streams on my laptop, but I don't have, uh, I don't have my laptop with me right now, I need to go get it. Uh, so I don't know who or what this white knight is. Ho hopefully someone can fill me in. Strontly Egg saying, White Knights seems like a YouTube channel that's focused on Rod Seller. Is this just another psycho troll that's just trying to drive people to suicide or what? Uh, I don't understand. High Life saying, 445 a month for, for a motel? Not bad. Well, yeah, I mean, it, on, it's it's on the low side of all these places I've been trying to call, but, I mean, that's still a lot for me. I could have gotten a place for a month for about this much. This is co literally costing me, like, four times as much. Four times. Tom Macy saying, what, Rod Seller killed himself? Yeah, looks like it. Sky Warrior 100 saying, I lost friends, in all caps. Damn. My condolences, man. I, I mean, I know they're still alive and all, but it, that, it feels like, you know, feels you know, like, like you're mourning people, especially when you've known them for so long. Pep Psy saying, I know you don't want to live in a tent, but if you could find a nice cozy spot in the woods somewhere away from people, that might actually be good for you, man. Just chill out in the woods and smoke dope. Uh, first of all, if I got caught sparking anything, I think, out in the woods, I'd get arrested or I don't know. And second of all, I won't be able to function. I need to make money. I got bills. I got a cat. And I got, you know, I got car payments. I, I can't just go run off into the woods. 
Aquartez173 saying, Brian, how's your dad reacting to you being homeless? Uh, I haven't really called my dad. It's just I've been so stressed out. And probably my dad is as well. My dad's not taking the situation just like with the car and everything and retirement getting ruined for tran over transmission repairs and all this and that. It's just, well, we're all so stressed out. This is just such bullshit. Everything is such bullshit. You know, like Rod, Rod Seller, he couldn't take it anymore. And I, I, don't, I totally don't blame him at all. Greg, somebody's saying lots of friends are actually backstabbing snakes. <laughs> Ryan K. saying good to have one or two friends max. It's just, it's just, you know, my heart is still breaking. I just, like, God, fucking COVID, man. Fucking COVID. Why did COVID have to happen? Jared Neely saying White Knight is a troll who tormented Rod Seller. Is this the, the, the psycho that's behind all these multiple accounts that I'm co constantly having to block? Literally multiple times a day, 24-7, every single day. Like, I get, like, all these strange questions asked by some random commenter that I've never even heard of. I click on it, and it says that the, you know, the account had been created anywhere from, like, 5, 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago to 6 hours ago. And I'm like, oh, dude, it's this psycho again. What the fuck? Dude. This, that, that, that must be White Knight, I guess. I don't understand well, what the fuck you people are... What the fuck? Are you, like, being paid to, to drive people to suicide? Or is this just, like, your sick hobby or what? I don't understand this shit. What the fuck? I don't understand this fucking world. Greg's somebody saying, In slang, a white knight is a dude who tries to pay for a female or play the part of a gentleman or in order to court a female... Usually a sucker, lol. Adventures of Electric Lamp saying, Hey Brian, I hope all is well. Is there anything I can do to help you out, brother? I always wanted to donate an RV to you, by the way. I just haven't found one yet. Oh man, dude. Well, I really appreciate the sentiment, man. I mean, if you, if you could find something, I... Uh, I mean, thank you so much. You know, for the thought and everything. At least... Johnny Dank saying how much is the motel? Like I said, it's like four forty-five a month. I mean, no, <laughs> I like I said earlier, I could get if I could if I could actually like rent like an actual like legit room, I could have gotten it for a month. But no, this is for a week, so I'm literally spending like four times the amount to live in a motel than I could have just renting a regular room. But I couldn't I couldn't sleep in a car anymore. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't even take a shower. And I was, well, I mean, I could have you know gotten a gym membership. You know, it would have probably been the same thing living in an RV, but I mean, I, I just, I wasn't sleeping right in that car. I just, I wasn't, I, I just wasn't functioning right now. Just such a mess and just, I couldn't do that shit anymore. I mean, plus I need to be working. I need the car to work. Like, I can't be living in it. Pep Psy saying, Brian, try to find that dude from Invisible People that interviews bums. But no, okay. Why, why are you calling him bums? Not even gonna finish reading that. Sky Warrior one hundred. No, they just became snakes. They just weren't the same people I knew for the past five years. Oh, your friends that you lost. Also, I'm just extremely stuck in my life too. Yeah, you know that that that's an interesting thing. You know, it's like when you're stuck in life. You know, when you're at your lowest of your low point, and you try to depend on people, it it tends to create a lot of tension. And you know, throwing COVID into the mix doesn't help. So. I don't know, I just lost a lot of faith in humanity. I mean, I know I'm not perfect myself, you know, but, I mean, I don't know. Johnny Dank is saying, so uh, So, how is Brian going to pay for this motel? Like I said, I'm just going to, I mean, I do work. I mean, I think a lot of you guys seem to think that I don't work. I mean, I do work, I do make money. It's just, I'm going to be having to bust my ass, you know, like every day. Driving, 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 just to stay afloat. Just to stay afloat. So, Gary H. saying, are you going to bring some woman into your motel room? Wink. No comment. <laughs> no comment. 
And no, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Don't believe the stupid Topetes. Oh, he brought hookers over, blah, 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 blah. No, I actually know, like, actual women that aren't hookers. Thank you very much. Greg, somebody saying you attract all types of maggot trolls. Yeah, well, that's the sad truth. I don't know how or why, but that's just the truth. I do. I don't know what it is about me, but they just, you know, they, like I was talking about another live stream. You know, it's just my life is just such shit, you know, that they're just attracted to that shit. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're literally flies to shit. You know, it's just my whole situation is just such shit that it stinks so bad that they all f f come swarming from, like, miles away. Bob Bappo saying, is it confirmed Rod Seller died? Uh, we don't know that yet, but like I said, we'll probably, unfortunately, find a news article. Somebody will probably be posting something soon that talks about, um, you know, a body found in the river identified as Terrence Rodriguez, and yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be really sad. If anything, I'll do a tribute video to him. Greg, somebody saying Rod Seller couldn't catch a break. I feel for the dude. Yeah, so do I. Johnny Dank saying, LOL, 446 a week? You can't pay that, LOL. Brian, what are you doing? Dude, what, what I said I work. You don't believe me or what? The fuck? God, the world is just so full of stupid fucking people. I said multiple times now, I've been working, I've been making money, like, I can't afford that, don't want to work, lazy, dude, I've been working, what, you don't fucking listen, or you, you, you must be a special kind of stupid, God. Al Cortez 173 saying, Brian, are you looking forward to June 15th and the end of masks in California? Well... They can still mandate, you know, individual companies can still mandate the masks, you know, keep that going if they want to. So, and knowing Amazon, they probably will continue the masks just to be, you know, put on this, you know, positive corporate image of, we care about our employees' safety. Here at Amazon, we require our employees to wear masks and take safety measures and all these precautions and social distancing to keep everyone safe and blah, 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 bullshit, 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 bullshit. Just saying. Just saying. Peter One saying, it isn't the end. Most stores are going to require. Also, no masks if if just for those vaccinated. Is is just for those just vaccinated, I guess you're trying to say. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, Steampunk Star Raisin. What's up, Steampunk Star Raisin? Saying, hang in there. We need to create the Federation in real life. <laughs> Right back at you, my fellow tricky. Dead Pixel saying, Rod better have not killed himself. That would be the first time I would actually cry for someone I've never met. If he, if we find out, like I said, if we find out that he actually went through, through with it, I will do a tribute video. I feel he deserves at least that. You know, some kind of you know, positive memory, some, you know, talking about him in a positive way, because I'm sure a lot of all the trolls are not going to do that, they're going to do the opposite of that, so, you know, they're going to try to tarnish his legacy, and just call him a piece of shit and all this and that, so, you know, might as well jump in and defend the guy and try to, you know, just tell everybody the truth, and, you know, he was struggling, he tried his best, he lost his his vending machine business, he was trying to recover, trying to get on his feet, and one thing after another after another happened to him, and he just couldn't take it. He just couldn't take it. Greg, somebody saying, also the media is a bunch of worthless tools, always talking about the latest reality TV star or political hype. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Pep Size saying, one of the cartels in Mexico would probably hire you. Good money there, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'm not working for the cartel, dude. I don't know anything about all that street smart stuff anyway. I end up getting captured and arrested or killed or both. Johnny Dank saying, I didn't say you're lazy. 446 plus your rental, isn't that too much for Lyft? Dude, I said I can make at least six, seven hundred bucks a week. And that's, you know. I just have to be busting my ass. Plus, I'm getting a hundred bucks from YouTube. 
this month. Plus, uh, you guys just gave me thirty-two forty-four in total donations, so that'll be coming in my uh, my June uh, pay uh, pay period. So, um, thank you so much for that. You know, that's going to be in addition to whatever you know, I was petting Missy. Down. Hey. Yeah? <laughs> uh, at least I have her, you know. A lot of people tell you, hey, get rid of the cat, get rid of the cat. Oh, dude, like, come on. She's my only, like, emotional companion right now. Like, you want me to be even more depressed and down and all this and that? Come on. Oh my god, shoot me, I bought... This is a Winco for like a dollar seventy four or something. Oh my god. I'm such a fucking whatever scammer and wasting my money. Oh my god. I got a I got a long day ahead of me, so need a little coffee. Cold hard truth news saying even if mask mandates are lifted, things simply won't be back to normal the way it was. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately. Johnny Dank saying, make a separate channel for the cat, monetize that thing. Hmm, interesting idea. Al Cortez 173 saying, Brian, how's your health lately? I don't know, I mean, my eating and sleeping habits have been just all over the place. You know, sometimes I don't eat, sometimes I do eat, sometimes I sleep a lot, sometimes, you know, I'm constantly waking up, tossing and turning, I've just been a mess. So... That's about all I can say about that. I mean, that's all I know, so. Anyway, wow, I've gone just over an hour into this live stream. I was thinking, you know, maybe going, like, 15, 20 minutes max on this stream, but we're, we've now gone over one hour and two minutes. So, wow. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Um, nobody's really saying anything more, so I assume that's about it. Either that or I'm cutting out so much that people can't even understand what I'm even talking about anymore. Because I don't know how good this internet connection is. Well, I know I, well, I, I did an internet speed test, but I don't know how much it could be fluctuating right now. You know, the bandwidth, you know, all these people trying to get on it once, so that could affect the stability of my stream and I don't know how good the the YouTube app is at compensating and adjusting the bit rate in real time you know when when the when the bit rate you know my bandwidth drops so anyway you know what I'm trying to say or maybe you don't anyway uh Johnny Dank is saying someone donate <laughs> okay you guys want a room tour Gary H is saying can we have a motel room tour oh I guess why not it's just a motel room. Strong Blee Egg saying, quite smooth connection, I'd say. Okay, all right, thank you for the feedback, at least, you know. I, so I guess YouTube is, you know, you know it, uh, it's probably at a very low bandwidth right now, but that's to keep it smooth. So I'm, I'm guessing that the YouTube app, uh, you know, does have some solid algorithms in there to lower the... Uh, the you know the 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 bit rate of the video according to the bandwidth of the connection in real time so anyway I'm, okay let me see how much battery I have ah oh, geez I'm only at fifteen percent I'm on a really weak charger so it, you know it's a slow charger it's not a fast charger so I'll take it off the charger for a second I already got the low battery battery warning as soon as I unplug it. Uh, let's see, let me make sure I don't have any sensitive, okay, nothing personal, no address, okay. Yeah, so, I'm in a motel room, this is a motel room, there's a cat carrier, clothes, towels, clothes down there, cat stuff, that's my room, got my comforter on there, Pillows. There's a bathroom back there. Sink. Noisy people behind me. Litter box right there. Because when the cat's gotta go, the cat's gotta go. You know what I mean? 
that cat right there, this little kitty right down here, Anyway guys, I gotta get going, so there's your tour, there's Missy Foo, my cat. Greg, somebody's saying, I bet Missy likes having a bed, seems happy. <laughs> yeah, she's a lot happier than being in a car, that's for damn sure. Johnny Dank saying, there's there's a door between the rooms, maybe there's a sexy lady next door, Brian, so you can open that door and sneak in her bed at night. Uh, it's a little creepy, I mean, I'd, you know, but... You know, it'd be different, you know, she she knew that I was coming in, and, you know, maybe a little role play that way, but, <laughs> um, Gary H. saying, cute cat, cold heart, cold heart truth news saying, how old is your cat? Missy's barely, like, a year old. She's still a baby. Well, I mean, she, for a cat, she's full grown. She's an adult, but, I mean, to me, she's, she's a baby. Bob Bappo saying, you need a sugar mama. <laughs> Ian Barker, the car guy, is saying, what the? Ryan Hope saying, amazing cat. Hey, come here. <laughs> you guys heard that? Come here, amazing cat. Hey. Say hi to the YouTube audience. Oh, ow. Oh, I was going to try to stand up with her, but that, no, sometimes I can get her to do that. Sometimes she'll actually jump up on me. Hey, ow. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she, she does that sometimes. Like on her own, though, without me having to put her up there. But just to kind of speed things up, I put her up there. Come on, I mean, come on. You guys want me to get rid of my cat? I mean, look. look. <laughs> She's my little companion. Anyway. Yeah, she just wants to be on the bed right now. Hey. <laughs> yeah? You like that? Like the bed? FGFS saying, all of your, are all of your items out of your car so nobody breaks in while it's parked now that you aren't sleeping in it? Yeah, everything's out. I already showed the cat, Ray Ray. Uh, Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, guys, where is this conversation going? He did. <laughs> Greg, somebody saying, check your PayPal in about a week and a half, bud. Thank you so much, Greg, if you're able to pull through with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, dude. It couldn't come at a better time, seriously. Adventures of Electric Lamp saying, Hey, Brian, I, jump, I just jumped back on. I'm currently working, but did you get my message? Uh, what Adventures of Electric Lamp, what, what, what message? Where? Johnny Dank saying, Brian, you should stream in real life like Ice Poseidon, IP2 Network. They get tons of uh, donors. I guess you're trying to, you said donos, but I guess you meant donors. Ryan Hope with the cat emojis, the cat and the tiger. High Life saying IP2 is cancer. I don't even know who that is. Gold R Truth News saying used to have a cat but was very aggressive. <laughs> My cat is not aggressive at all. I mean, she'll hunt and kill flies, any other bugs that come into the room. But she is very loving, very affectionate, very just everything. Say hi to YouTube. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> See? She's happy. She's chilling. Johnny Dank saying IP2 is a streamer network. Huh. Never heard of that. Gary H saying, could you be a male escort for the chubby ladies? I do not. I'm, I'm not in the chubby ladies. Greg, somebody saying, what's Missy's favorite food? Uh, well, she's got, 
She eats this stuff down here. I, mean, I tried mixing some other stuff in, but it, that's all like mostly meow mix, the dry stuff. And then up here, she's got a little pusheen uh, thingamajig here with, uh, she eats, where is it? Oh, it's in the my refrigerator that needs more ice, this nine live stuff. That's my refrigerator, guys. That's my refrigerator right there. Just a little ice bucket with melted ice. It's not even ice anymore. I gotta put more ice in it. Cold Art Truth News saying what a sweet cat. <laughs> oh, uh, El Cortez 173 saying have you heard back from landlords regarding room rentals? Are they ready to deal with? A lot of them are scams. They call me and then they're like, oh, well, well like, we're, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm asking, you know, like, like, how soon can I see it? You know, okay, can I meet with somebody and sign the paperwork and get the key? And they're like, oh, well, you, you have you have to pay the deposit before you see property. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no, I'm not bu buying into your stupid scams. God, like, I'm in a real situation here. I need a place to live. I don't have time for you dealing with scam bullshit. Fuck. I told one of them off. <laughs> I told a couple of them off, actually. It just pissed me off. Like, I'm on edge. You know, I'm in a situation. I don't have time to, you know, have my time wasted like that. Johnny Dank saying, Brian, I'll give you $5 a spot if you dance for us. I, I, I don't... I don't dance. I don't... I don't have any rhythm. I don't... Yeah. I've never been a dancer. Drew Giant saying... Brian, uh, glad I finally caught a live stream. I hope you are doing better, Brian. But things are bleak for many people, including right now, or including right now, including you and Rod Seller. Yeah, we could say that. Von Bruman saying, "What's wrong with the chubby ladies? They just, they just don't turn me on. They're just, I'm just not in the chubby ladies. I'm in the thin women." Johnny Dank saying, don't pay with gift cards, Brian. Yeah, no, oh yeah, you're talking about the scams. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, anything that asks for, for, for gift cards as payment is an automatic red flag. Fuck that. Or asking for, for, for money up front before even seeing the property. No. I want to go look at the property, you know, have a, a walk tour with the, with, the, with the manager or landlord himself. I want to be like, okay, and then, like, discuss all the terms and, like, this and this and that, and here's a work, sign this, sign that, sign that, sign that, okay, here's a key, you know, make, and, you know, make your, you know, you know p p give them the check, whatever, pass the, the Zell money, you know, and then they're like, here, here, here's the key, you know, congratulations, you can start moving in kind of thing, you know, but, yeah. Gary H is saying you can make money with the chubby ones. Yeah, but they don't turn me on. I won't. Oh, God. Is this going to be the next thing? Like, I'm going to be out to explain every day, multiple times a day. I'm not in the chubby girls. I'm not in the chubby girls. I'm not in the chubby girls. I said I'm not in the chubby girls. I explained multiple times that I'm not in the chubby girls. I'm not in the chubby girls. Okay, but I, I explained I'm not in the chubby girls. Okay, you're not going to talk me into being in the chubby girls. I will never be in the chubby girls. I'm not in the chubby girls. God. People don't listen. <laughs> I do hope it's not going to turn into another thing like that. Because it seems uh, just with everything else. You know, everyone's like, just go live with your dad. Just go live with your dad. Just sleep on your dad's couch. Move back on your dad's sleep. You know, pitch a tent in your bad dad's backyard. This and that. I'm like, there's no space in my dad. My dad doesn't even have a backyard. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I've told you millions of times. But the comments still keep rolling in. They still keep rolling in. Oh, just move back in with your dad. Just move your dad, your dad, your dad. Move in here with your dad. Blah, 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 blah. Sleep on your dad's couch. Blah, blah. Dude. Ah. People don't understand or listen to anything I say. Greg, somebody's saying that motel sounds like it has some noisy-ass people. Watch out for late-night shouting matches. LOL. <laughs> Pep Sigh saying, have you looked on Craigslist to look for room rental instead of trying to rent an entire apartment? Dude, I'm not trying to rent an entire apartment. I've been trying to rent a room. Like, have you been watching my videos? Adventures of Electric Lamp saying, Brian, what happened to your place? Uh, like I keep saying, it just didn't work out. COVID fucked up everything. I wouldn't take the vaccine. 
Al Cortez 173 saying maybe you can try to rent a trailer at an RV park. Uh, if I mean I've been looking at listings, I haven't seen any of that. So Johnny Dank is saying if I was him, I would have split a double motel room with someone I knew. Yeah, that 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 friend, that road raging friend of mine wanted to do that, but no, I don't want to live with them. I don't want to live with a guy in a room. Like I want to be either alone or with a woman. Like I just no, no, I I need my alone time. I I just no, especially not with him. Oh God, fuck that, no. PGA PGA saying, you're struggling more than anyone else here. I am complaining because I rent a tiny home today and I don't feel it anymore with all of my stuff inside. I hope you'll find a safe place. Wow. Wow. Well, good luck to you. It's hard out there. George Sting is saying, greetings, pimp. What the fuck? PGA saying, praying for you, man. Johnny Dank saying, I doubt Lyft is the only job in the world you can do considering you're fairly young and healthy. Brian, why would, why won't you be honest with us and tell us what happened with the place you were at before? Like, I, I, dude, I've been honest. It's just I don't want to get into all of it right now. You know? And, yeah, anyway, dude, like, I don't, I don't want to get into it. I mean, I've known these people for a long time and just I, I, I just want to try to move on and... I don't want to dwell and get all upset about it. It just didn't work out. COVID ruined everything. I mean, that, you know, I wouldn't take the vaccine and the tension built up and it was just, I mean, that's the story. I mean, without getting into all the details, that's the story. It was basically all just tension over COVID. So, Cold Art Truth News saying, Chubby girls, as Al Bundy so aptly pointed out, are, idol, are islands onto themselves. <laughs> islands onto themselves. Oh God! <laughs> you know, for to, to to give uh, you know Al Bundy credit, Peg. You know, she is yeah, she's quite a looker there. I don't know why he complains so much about going to bed with her. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she she might have annoyed him, but you know, damn. I wouldn't hesitate to want to go upstairs with her. Uh, so Al Cortez 173 saying, Brian, a lot of churches can help if you go. Ask. Yeah, but see, here's the thing with churches. I'm not religious. I do believe in God, or what at least what people refer to as God. Um, you know, the, just the conscious everything, energy behind everything and everyone that exists, you know, and all that. But, I mean, I just don't, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't see anything through that religious lens and I just quite frankly I think it's bullshit and I just don't agree with it and so if I'm going to be living in a church every day they're going to be like Brian you need to pray with us pray with pray, pray to Jesus ask for salvation blah 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 I'm like dude I don't believe in that bullshit I just give me a place to live just so I can go out and work and you know make my money and try to dig myself out of this hole I don't need Jesus I don't believe in that shit Sorry, walking journey, I just, you know, it's fairy tales. I just don't. <laughs> and then plus, you know, I got my cat and a bunch of stuff, and they're going to be like, oh, dude, like, come on. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to praise Jesus. You won't participate in prayer with us. And you got all this shit. You got your cat. Like, no, it's just, I don't think it's going to work. And plus, I want to smoke weed. And, you know, oh, God forbid. Oh, my God. You know, it, it, isn't this God's gift to man anyway? I mean, God made this, so what are you all complaining about? Drew Giant saying, Brian, and do you feel safe? Do you feel safe in the motel? Any smell of mold? Is it relatively quiet? If you got a month there, I truly hope all goes well for you there while you plan your next move. Uh, I do feel I, I feel relatively safe, and there's like latches on the wait. There's a door. There's a latch up there, and that and that bottom part locks as well. So I mean, like I'm not living in Beverly Hills or anything close to that. But I mean, I don't have any reason to feel terribly unsafe here. I mean, you know, as long as I just keep my door locked and shit, I should be fine. Dude, I'm not responding to this troll. Robert McKenna saying the cheapest room out here is 300 a week. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. like I said, I was quoted that by one, but then I couldn't seem to, to find that deal again. But, I mean, that's the thing. I, I was told I had to, because I, I called on a Thursday night, and they told me it would be like 325, but if I waited until Monday, and then I on Monday I tried calling again, and then I couldn't even get a hold of them, so I just ended up here. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with car sh shit anymore. Billy Snickers saying religion is retarded by the common people, or... <laughs> <laughs> religion is regarded by the common people as true by the wise as false and by the rulers as useful okay well not too far off from my original misreading there Al, Al Cortez 173 saying are, are those food banks that were near you or your area still around well I'm sure they are God, Michael Anderson saying, you need to get saved. Dude, the Jesus isn't real. Get real, dude. Peter 1 saying, religion is not the same as spirituality. Exactly. Yeah, see, I mean, I, I believe, you know, I, like I said, I believe. A lot of people seem to get this twisted. I mean, it's not that, that, that I'm an atheist and I don't believe in God. I do. It's just I don't see it in the way religious people do. I just don't, and I never will. So quit trying to convert me. I'm never going to praise Jesus. I'm never I'm never going to be a Jehovah's witness. Jehovah this, Jehovah that. No. No, I don't buy it. Texas maid saying chubby gals think they don't have a weight problem. Can't wait to eat problem. <laughs> oh man. I, I don't want to say too much more. I don't want to get slammed on here for body shaming. I'm just I mean, do whatever you want. Look however you want. I just I'm just not into it. That's all I'm saying. IRC bullies taking care of more trolls. Uh, Ian Barker, the car guy, saying we cannot force people to be saved, though. <laughs> okay. Mindstorm saying, "What's up, Brian?" Yeah, uh, I guess you just uh, here. You're just chiming in from just tuning in, and you're very behind. I'm about to end this live stream, so you're gonna have to watch this again when it you know processes on YouTube and all that. So. Peter 1 saying religion is a control system, but spirituality is freedom. Very interesting point. Very interesting point, and I do agree. Johnny Dank saying, what if Rod Seller was a secret millionaire and he left everything in his will to you, Brian? The fuck? Dude, if Rod Seller was a secret millionaire, he wouldn't be getting evicted right now. What the f that doesn't even... Dude... Do you people think before you make these comments, or is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Like, I don't understand. Ron Rasp saying you should change those wall colors ASAP. What the fuck? This is a motel, and I'm trying to survive, and you're trying to... You're a fucking troll, dude. What the fuck? Like, I'm going to be trying to renovate a damn motel room right now when I'm more focused on trying to come up with food and rent and, and fucking car payments and... The f you're, you're an idiot, dude. George Ding is saying, how long will, will you stay in the motel? Dude, I have no idea. I can't... I haven't found a permanent place to live yet. Like, I fucking know. Cold Hard Truth News saying, Brian, what's your take on vaccine passports? Oh, God. Fuck all this vaccine shit. Where's your papers? Papers, please. Oh, God. So PGA, PGA, saying if your 7,000 subscribers gives you $10, you would be okay for a while, I guess. Oh, yeah, shit. If my 7,000 subscri subscribers gave me $1, not even $10, just $1, I would have over $7,000. I could go straight to buy an RV. So if my 7,000 su subscribers gave me $10, oh, shit, yeah, I would be really okay. I'd be more than okay. Pep Sai is saying, I think the problem is you have extremely low testosterone levels. You should go see a doctor about... What the... F huh? What the fuck are you talking about? Low testosterone levels. What? The fuck? <laughs> Mindstorm is saying, like, that's important. LOL. I don't know what that was in response to. Gary H. saying, how long do you think you could live off of 50K? 
a very l damn long time because I'd be able to have an RV and I wouldn't be paying rent anymore and I'd be saving a shit ton of money. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, never mind what I said. Johnny Dink saying, if you got the vaccine, you could probably work at Amazon without a mask. Yeah, but I'm not getting the vaccine, so that's not going to happen. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying 50K can, can get you somewhere to start. Oh, yeah, definitely it could. I'd be able to get out of California, maybe buy a cheap house somewhere, or put down for a cheap house. I mean, shit, the possibilities are endless with that much, you know, that kind of money. Mindstorm saying, what are these dudes smoking? <laughs> yeah, thank you, exactly. What are they smoking? It, it, they're definitely not smoking this stuff. They're smoking something else. They're smoking the stupid stuff. Lyceum. Hey, all what's up, Lyceum? Mindstorm saying the walls, Brian. Wait, what? Huh? What are, the, what are these dudes smoking? The walls? What? PGA PGA saying, do a Patreon or a donation page. Don't be ashamed about this. I'll give you money if you do. See, but that, that's what I don't understand. Like, like, why do I, like, that, these are just different avenues to, to, to get money to me. I mean, I already got PayPal. I already got the Super Chat. I mean, like, why do I have to create all these extra accounts? You know, like, you don't even have to have a PayPal account to, you know, to, to send through PayPal. There's, there's a place in there you can click. You know, don't have an account. Just enter your, your credit card information or whatever, you know. Just it's the same thing. Patreon or donation page, it's all the same thing. It's just ways to get money to me. Like, why do I need to have, like, 50,000 accounts, you know, that all do the same thing? You know, if people want to help me, they, they'll help me. They'll figure out a way. PayPal.me forward slash Brian Fritz or super chat me or, you know, or get into contact with me. I mean... <laughs> I just don't understand why I gotta have all, all these different accounts to do all the same thing. They're just, like I said, they're just different ways to get money to me. Well, I see him saying, so glad he got a room. Yeah, but I'm paying through the ass for it four times as I would be normally if I had just gotten an actual room from, you know, an actual landlord or just someone renting out a room from their house. High Life is saying, uh, if I got 50K, I would live in the Philippines. <laughs> But definitely, it, it would get you very far out there, as far as I understand. Uh, Gary H. saying, Patreon requires proof of last year's tax returns. Oh, does it? Oh, forget that then. I haven't, yeah, my life has been too much of a mess to even deal with taxes. I've been struggling and dealing with bullshit for so many years now. Yeah, I wouldn't even be able to do that anyway. So, PayPal or, or Super Chat or, or just get into contact with me, like I said. Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, try raising money and make sure you save up. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Lyceum saying, give us a tour. I already did that. <laughs> El Cortez 173 saying, how far away uh, within California are you willing to move to? Well, that that uh, that depends. I mean, like, I, I, I got a pretty wide, you know, bubble that I'm willing to... Uh, you know, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if I want to move too, too far away. And I mean, I still got to return a rental car to a certain location out here. I still got my car out here that I still got to work on and take care of. I mean, I just can't leave all that behind, you know, a hundred miles away or more. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, Cold Art Truth News saying, uh, if I had 50K, I'd live in a rural area where rent is cheaper. PGA, PGA saying, uh, I didn't know you already have a PayPal. I, I, I say it in every, I mean, it's usually flashing in, like, every live stream, pay, you know, at the top, paypal.me forward slash Brian Fritz. It's just now not live streaming from my laptop. You know, it's just, like, the third live stream that it doesn't have that. But, I mean, I've been repeating it throughout, like, every live stream multiple times. I, I don't know, I guess you just tuned in. But, I mean, I have PayPal. I've been having PayPal for years, paypal.me forward slash Brian Fritz. Um, so, Ian Barker, the car guy, saying, what is it with these comments? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I wonder the same thing. IRC Bully saying, did you find a room yet? Dude, I'm in my room. Like, when did you tune in? I gave a tour and everything. I've been talking about the room for like the past hour. <laughs> High Life saying, no comment. Johnny Dank saying, because of donation page... 
has a story attached to it and anyone can see it and share it with others. It has a goal and important information about the beneficiary. Yeah, but see, I tried that already. I have, I, it's still up. I still have my GoFundMe up from when I was living in my dad's kitchen, for fuck's sakes. And people just, you know, the trolls just wanted to say, oh, look at this scammer, blah, 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 blah. And it just never really got off the ground. So it's just, that's why I don't really have much faith in doing that kind of stuff. It just doesn't work. People don't give a fuck. They just say, oh, just get a job. Just do it yourself, blah, blah, blah. You're weak. You're unmotivated. You're lazy, blah, 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 blah. You, you, know, you just have a shitty work ethic, blah, blah, blah. And people don't understand. People are stupid. Fuck the world. <laughs> Ian Barker the car guy saying he lives in a motel room. Yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Obviously. This is a motel room. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know you're cool. I mean, I know you're, you're my troll mod and everything. I'm just saying, like... I don't understand why people ask these questions. I mean... I'm, yeah, I'm in a motel room. It's costing me four forty five a week. I'm paying through the ass. It's costing me like four times the amount where I, I would be if I just had found a room on Craigslist or something. So, yay, fun. Bobby Dadsy saying, you, it's been a while. How's your cat? I believe it's been three years now. Wow, you haven't tuned in in three years? What? You have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, Ian Barker, the car guy, is saying he showed the cat. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Exactly. Peter one saying, take care, bro. I got to go do some Uber Eats. Take a look for my PayPal. I sent you a few days back. Has my number. Oh, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll check that out. IRC Bully saying, I meant a permanent room. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i in a motel because I couldn't find a permanent room. I was looking and looking and looking and looking. But it's just I keep running into scammers or these stupid landlords. I want to play endless email tag or have all these requirements. It's just so stupid. What the fuck? No, G for T is not visiting. Dude, I haven't had anything to do with G for T since 2013. God, I've been saying this for years. And people still ask me about G for T. Like, what the fuck? God, people are stupid. Enough with your trolling, dude. Johnny Dank saying, ask the owner if you can do some maintenance around the place to reduce your rent. Okay, I mentioned this earlier. There's a couple that live and work here already, and this guy was talking to me last night. Where I just talked about this earlier in the live stream, and he was just saying about how fucked up it was that they won't even give him a discount. And I think he is like the head maintenance guy, like him and his wife or something. And they won't even give him a discount. The head fucking maintenance guy doesn't get a discount to live here. So, yeah. Yeah, Johnny Dink is saying, LOL, Ron is a troll. Yeah, I know. I'm asking about the G for T stuff. So stupid, dude. Bob, Bobby Dadsy saying, definitely lots of catching up, dude, bro. Yeah, dude, I've been... i moved multiple times within just, like, the past, like, couple years. You know, go, go, go back and watch. You have a lot of catching up to do. Go, go, go back and watch, like, from, you know, years ago. <laughs> RC Bully, uh-oh. IRC Bully's giving a, a you know, because IRC Bully's wielding that troll, that troll wrench. Saying, stop it, Ron. He's gonna, he's gonna block you, Ron. He's gonna block you. Quit that trolling and G for T bullshit. <laughs> Johnny Dank saying the ban hammer. <laughs> Speaking of ban hammers, where's, oh, it's over here. Well, I mean, it's not exactly a wrench, but it's the closest thing I got to it. <laughs> it's walking around with one of these. This is the, the, the troll undoer. <laughs> the ban hammers, Johnny Dank likes to call it. Okay, guys, it's, this has gone over an hour and a half now. Just about to hit one hour and 35 minutes now. So, this has really gone on a long time. I really wasn't expecting this to go on this long. So, guys, I really got to go. I got to go do some driving myself or else I'm really not going to be able to afford this room or the rental car or food or gas or any of that fun stuff. So...
I guess I'm going to wrap it up there. Frank Ducks is asking me, Brian, have you looked at renting an RV? Dude, I haven't seen any listings for renting an RV. I mean, our, 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 like, I mean, look, okay, because I, I, I have in the past, I saw one, like, over a year ago, I think it was, somebody actually did have an RV that they were renting out for, I think, like, what was it, like, two, three, four hundred bucks, something like that a month. Um, but if, if you're talking about like act, like like an actual like an RV rental place, that's like two hundred dollars for a day, a day. <laughs> you know, it, it, you, 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 you guys are thinking four forty five for a week is bad. How about two hundred dollars for one day? I'll never be able to do that. Never, never, ever, 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 ever. So yeah. Hi Life saying shout out to Rod Seller. Street Life is asking where's the RV. Well, I don't have money. Where's the money? I don't have money. PayPal.me forward slash Brian Fritz. This has been Brian Fritz of Network 126. I think we're just going to wrap it up right there. And uh, rest in peace Rod Seller if you're not with us anymore. Rate, comment, subscribe. Brian Fritz signing off.